Hi everyone and welcome to another video. In this video, we'll see how to import a picture that is a PNG or a JPEG file into Excel and work with that data in that picture as usual. Let's see how this is done. So on your Excel sheet, what you have to do is go to the data tab. Once you are in the data tab, there is an option called from picture. Click on it and you can select picture from clipboard if you have already copied a screenshot or you can just select picture from file and this will give you an option to import data from a picture when i say data from a picture this can be pictures which have uh, tables in them or you know some form of data arranged in tables so i'm going to import the first picture that is this one and go ahead and click on insert so what you'll see is uh, Excel analyzes your image and on the right side, it will give you something like this. So this is the image that I imported and below is the data, how it will look when once you click on insert data. Now, if you notice closely, almost everything is the same. I'm just analyzing it while I'm scrolling down. And there is no discrepancy. All the data looks pretty straightforward and clear. Even the headers are available here. Now, in such a case, all you need to do is just go ahead and click on insert data and you will get a checkbox with a warning which will say you are responsible for validating the accuracy of this data. Go ahead and click on insert data. And there you go. Your, your entire image, the data in your image is now converted into cells in excel now i want to show you another option where the image may not be very clear like this particular data all right so go ahead and click on data again from picture and i'm going to import another image this time which is the batting performance in cricket uh, that i obtained from wikipedia click on insert and this will take a few more seconds to analyze. And now you will see a few things like this red boxes, if you notice closely. All right. So what are these red boxes? These red boxes are when Excel is not 100% sure whether the data in the image is exactly what is written below. So in such a case, you have a review option here. Once you click on the review option, it will give, give you a checkbox that will show you each and every element in each of the table cells from the image. And then you will have an option to discard it or you can accept it. So as you can see, there are 12 items to review. And this is the first item, which is 153 and a star. So this basically means in cricket that 153 not out. That was the score. Now Excel is not able to resolve that and it, it is showing us a dot here. So if you want, you can just keep the dot or you can just put a star there. Or if you don't want anything, just remove the symbol and click on accept. Now for this case, I'm just put, going to put a star. I'm going to accept it and then it moves on to the next review, which is West Indies. Now you may think that West Indies is written properly in the image and uh, the review also shows us the same. Now in the back end, Excel may not be able to fully understand this particular text from the image because it was a screenshot or you know it would have been captured through a camera. So there are limitations to how far Excel can give you the exact answer from, from an image. That's why the review button shows up here. Now, this is all good. You can click on accept. Again, there is a star here. Click on star. Go ahead. And uh, I'm not changing anything now, but in particular, I'm going to accept whatever comes my way. And this is how you correct any errors that come up when you import data from an image. All right. Now, once you are done, all your red boxes are gone. Go ahead and click on insert data. It will give you a warning again. Click on insert data. And there you go. Now, one thing you may notice is 
the headers, right? The headers are a bit up and down here. So you can just manually change it. All right. And there you have it. You have your table ready to go and you can go ahead and analyze this table now. So that's how you work with uh, importing picture into Excel. I hope this video was helpful to you. And if there are any queries, any doubts, please go ahead and let me know in the comments tab. If you are yet to subscribe to the channel, if you enjoyed the video, please go ahead and uh, subscribe to the channel. And one last thing to notice is there might be a few errors here and there which may not show up in the review tab like this Melbourne, right? So Melbourne is a uh, city in Australia. Now here you have a typo which says Melbourne. All right, it should be Melbourne. Okay, so just make sure that you fully uh, check your image and import it uh, without fail. But for data which is captured through a screenshot, it's usually straightforward. But data which is slightly unclear and captured through a camera may show you some errors here and there. All right. So that's it. I'll see you with another video next week.